How's it going, everybody? Nikki D here, coming at you live, man, yet again. And today we're going to be talking about Farmers Only, uh, another dating site, but as you can imagine, only for farmers. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. So in today's video, uh, again, we're going to talk about a farmer's dating app. So all the footage you're going to be seeing is probably from the live stream. Now, the reason for that is there is multiple websites, multiple apps for this site, but they're not all the same. They're all a little bit different. So we could do probably like 20 of these videos um, and we would be a little all over the place. So again, what we're talking about today is specifically farmersonly.com. So anyway, so all the footage you're going to see is from the live stream. So we're going to, we're going to throw some clips in. What we're going to talk about is the account set up how the website is, the subscription model, the features, messaging, search preferences, safety notes, you name it, all going to talk about it. So let's get into it. Here, I got to fix that voice. Look at that. Just, there we go. That looks good. Uh, so yeah, so first thing I want to talk about there, again, no application for this site specifically. So this dating app itself is only the website. There are dating apps for farmers dating, but they are a little bit different. They're like Farmers D, it's called, so farmers dating. Uh, but this one specifically is a website, and two of the links on Google took me to the same website, but they looked completely different. So we're just going with the one that I think was really it. Account set up literally as basic as possible. There's not much to say there. It is as bare bones as you're going to get. Quite literally, make the account, upload a picture, you're in. Uh, the default name is going to be a uh, running theme, so let's slap a clip into the video, uh, from what I'm used to, like, Popple? How are they changing their name? Also, they're all, like, cowboy. You seen this? Like, cowboy, 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 cowgirl, cowboy, farmer, 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 f cowboy, country girl, right? Uh, okay, let's look at, uh, let, this girl's actually in my area. Uh, so the clip, they're pretty self-explanatory. Every single account is just called Farmer Boy, for example, or Farmer Man, or Cowgirl, uh, with a bunch of numbers. So they're not even, like, uniquely identified. You can't even go, like, hey, my name's Nick Daniels. You can just be Farmer Boy 7890425. It's really annoying, and also just kind of not great at all. Uh, there's no way to even change that. Like, even if you wanted to put some numbers in there, um, I didn't see any option. I scoured the site looking for it, couldn't find it. Uh, in job, you can, uh, you can put what animal you raise, which is, uh, mainly the only thing you can even do, like raises sheep, for example. And there's another category. Uh, keep in mind that I don't think every person who uses this app is going to be a farmer. I think there are going to be people using it that maybe want to date farmers. I've done farm work before. A lot of it, actually. But I don't work on a farm. I live in a city. Uh, so it, just an interesting thought process there. So getting into how the site looks there, um, really, 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 really old looking. Um, so again, let's roll the stream clip. The site looks old. There's really nothing I can else I can say about it. It looks completely outdated. The copyright on it at the bottom, a, a, a viewer mentioned in the stream, it's like 2005, like up to 2005. So you can just tell like, or no, sorry, I think it's 2005 up to present. So it, it makes complete sense. Everything on the site just looks outdated. They've got old like MSN icons, you know, it's, it's emailing a user, right? It's not messaging them in a nice, nice app, right? The generic usernames, right? The whole look of the site just has this feel that no one should use it. I just don't see a reason why anyone would use this over like a dating app, even a farmer's dating app on their phone. You know, something that just looks a little bit more presentable. Um, most of the site is locked down for the subscription. We're going to talk about that. But uh, yeah, you're really limited in what you can do. And by really limited, I mean really limited. Uh, there is a live chat feature, which we're going to come back to in just a second. Um, and the copyright is from 2005 again. So it just feels it. Okay. Everything feels it. What really feels it is the live chat feature. So again, it's kind of what you would expect it to be. There's not even like specific rooms. You just join into a big room. It's a live chat and it'll be like farmer boy 905252 with cowgirl 8585251 are talking. And I was reading the conversation and it just didn't make any sense to me. It, just, it, was, it was just so mundane. 
But there's like timestamps. You can see when they're talking in there. I could actively talk. No, I couldn't. It's a subscription. Um, but yeah, so it was interesting. I'll give them that. But the live chat rooms is also a thing of the past, right? A lot of the, like, I mean, we've all been there. A lot of us, uh, a lot of people used to go in like the Omega chat, you know, the chats or you know, the, uh, like the live chat rooms where like a bunch of teenagers would talk and hang out. It's just, it's just a dead thing. It doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't happen. Right. So again, really funny to see it. And it just really feels like how this app would go. So naturally we're going to talk about the subscription because there's really nothing else we can do on the app until our, to the site, my apologies, uh, until we pay for it. So again, it's always going to be at present as well on the screen, by the way, when you're on the, on the site, it's always flashing at the top and it's letting you know to subscribe. So let's look into it. So for one month, it's $21.95. Three months is $13.32 a month, which works out to about $39.96. And six months works out to $10.99 a month, which is around $65.94. You can pay, by the way, this is an exclusive feature. You can pay to have your messages sent as a text message, which is about $4.99, and they also promise to not hand out your number, uh, which I really doubt. Uh, they call it farm phone, by the way. So how that works is uh, basically they will take your messages from the site and text them to you instead to your phone. So this is, again, just showing the site's oldness that's not a feature and you're paying for it which is just insane i mean at the time i could see someone paying for it but in 2023 there's just no reason to dish out 4.99 for this and the fact that they promise to not like hand out your number anywhere i just i don't know i just don't really believe it uh the features that you get with that by the way uh not the farm phone the other stuff there uh, so you get to send and receive unlimited emails. By the way, it's called emails, not messages. Uh, read and reply to emails on the mobile. Uh, so on the phone. Respond to email messages. Uh, see other members' status. status. Uh, see other members' last visit date when they last logged in. A lot of this, by the way, as you can probably figure out, this should just be free. There's really no reason that any of this should be paid for. Uh, post unlimited photos. Now, I actually don't re don't remember even trying to hit a limit on photos. I just posted like two or three, uh, but a lot of them just had like one photo, one or two. So I, there is probably a limit to my knowledge, and it must not be very much uh, to what I can gather. Uh, so for messaging, so you can email a user, uh, you can flirt for free, and it, you give the most generic lines. Again, let's roll the stream. Uh, yeah, so the, just the, the, stream clip, the stream clips really just encompass it, uh, everything I need to say. But yeah, the generic lines are just really... So at least this way you could see. I'm going to flirt. Oh, okay. The, oh, God, this is bad. Look how bad this looks. It's like these like neon green boxes. Like, how bad? And like, it, I obviously have to pick a generic thing. I can't just write something. Look, look at this. Like, you are cute. They're just really not even, you can't say any more than generic. They're just hideous. There was nothing about them that I would ever send to someone, ever, uh, ever. Uh, you can favorite them, but you also can't see who you favorited without paying. That's a feature that they, they don't include. So a lot, of the, a lot of the features in the app might not even really be mentioned um, per se, and they're just locked anyway. There's even at a point where there's two error screens, which we'll talk about in the additional notes, uh, which is funny. Uh, for the search preferences, you can pick the area, like Nova Scotia, for example, where I'm at, with no distance. There's no distance filter. You just have all of Nova Scotia. So if you pick a U.S. state, let's say you, you pick Massachusetts, uh, you're all of you're all there. Like, you're not downtown Boston. You're not over here in Salem. You have no idea. It's just you're all of it. You pick California, you've got all of California. Uh, so it's really annoying, actually. The age should be set from 18 to 99. Again, we can play a stream clip there. It's self-explanatory. You guys will get it. Uh, you can search people's usernames directly. So you can actually just start typing in a username. It'll just pop up. Uh, I find that actually really creepy. But again, you're only going to be typing in Farmer Boy 909091. So whatever. Uh, some safety notes, by the way. So they do have a link to safety notes. So they provide a link to some safe dating. It looks like a basic HTML page. It literally is just a white page with some text. There's no formatting. There's no nothing. It looks like I could have just made that with a Google tutorial on how to do HTML. It just literally looks as bare bones as possible. They advise to not um, to not move off the site to texting, but yet they offer texting as a premium feature. 
Um, and I suppose you could like block phone numbers, but that I don't think that person will get your phone number. But they advise you not to move off the site. And I just feel like that is slightly an oxymoron, but maybe that's just me. Links to various articles, etc. that uh, there's just a ton of them. Uh, who, like, what not to do on a date, the best first dates, etc. Uh, we could probably spend an hour talking about them. A lot of these dating sites just have these weird links and articles where they've got, like, tons of pages that I think are just way too much. Uh, and people don't need to know all that. Uh, additional notes, two error message overlapped when, uh, I was on a, on a page. I don't remember where it was, by the way, I think it was on who viewed your profile. Uh, two error messages overlapped. So there was one below and there was one in the foreground that was both saying something different. One of them was basically like, you need to pay. And the other one was like, no one has liked you or something. So hilarious because they've clearly like not even correctly done that. Uh, all the nates on the sign, again, all the nates, uh, all the names on the site have that name. I literally scoured that. Couldn't find a way to change it. I am stuck is like cowboy something. I was just completely annoying. They have an FAQ available. Pretty generic, but I mean, it's a, it's a you know, frequently asked questions. There's not much going on, uh, but, uh, you know, pretty standard. Not much to say there. Self-help really just links to random things. I was in no way able to find a human. Uh, you know how you go through that customer service and you're just kind of trying to find any way to just navigate to the human? Couldn't find it. Uh, really, it'll just tell you like, hey, you can pay today or like how to reset your password. Uh, emails from activity. Um, they, they look rough. Yeah, they don't, they don't look good. Uh, I think I've got a picture there, so I'm going to hopefully put that on screen now. But yeah, the activity email didn't look good. It looked basic. Um, so they emailed me like two emails. It was just like, oh, like your recent activity. And it, again, it just looks like this HTML. Like it's not, it, it's just horrendous. It, the picture will just explain. Um, the farmer's only store, by the way, it's a dead link. They've got a link to a, uh, apparently some uh, merch, some swag, um, and it's completely dead. Uh, now, I don't remember if I looked up any reviews on this one, but uh, I'm going to tell you, I don't even think there's a point. Um, but we're going to just quickly Google them live. Um, I'm going on Site Jabber just live again as we're speaking right now. And uh, yeah, it's got four reviews, so not a whole lot to work with here, but we will uh, we'll read them. And apparently this is a positive review. A mere and simply a simple money drain. Useless site. I met my wife on jfordates.com. My wife is a girl twice younger than me with, uh, okay, that's, we're not going to go any further. Um, <laughs> beware from Catherine G. I subscribed to farmersonly.com back in 2020. Uh, I did not find very many active profiles in my area. I canceled my membership, but somehow in July of 2021, they decided to restart my membership without my knowledge. After several months when my account was overdrawn, I discovered what they had done. I contacted my bank and they reversed the charges. However, uh, FarmersOnly.com claimed I restarted my account when I signed in to notify them that I had canceled in 2020. Now I'm stuck paying for a membership I never restarted. I would caution anyone that this website is only after your money, buyer beware. It's pretty telling, by the way, when all the reviews, even if they're a five-star review, are just completely dissing this website and not to use it. Uh, final thoughts um, on this. I don't even remember, by the way, if the account deletion was easy. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was just two clicks and it was out. Uh, would I recommend? 100% not. Uh, there, It's just... This is actually probably one of the worst ones and almost really just for the the sole reason of just how outdated the site is, how outdated the features are, how much money it costs, you know, $3.99 or something would have been like probably too much. This should just be a completely free website. Uh, again, as someone in my stream had mentioned, the live stream, uh, it sounds like they're really just milking this for every penny they can get at this point. They, they, they know it's dead. They know it's not going to get anywhere with it. They're going to get anywhere with it. So throw it out there and try to make something out of it. That's all they're doing. Don't use this site. Don't waste your time with it. If you want to go use it, I mean, power to you, but I would strongly urge you to just use anything else that's free. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We're going to see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.